could hear your footsteps. Welcome back. I've seen Kefalonia from the statue of Zeus. Tell me, is it still a place of great beauty? Yes, the island is beautiful. From the statue of Zeus, you can see the sea hitting the white beaches and mountains covered in green. But... Its people suffer because of the war. Ah, just how it was described to me. The gods simultaneously bless the land and curse the people. Even for gods, your gods are cruel, Miss Theos. Okay, I've told you what I remember. Now tell me about yourself. What's a Persian doing here? Persia and the Greek world are doomed to be opposites. In times of prosperity here, Persians always seem to suffer. And when you're at war with yourselves... Persians no peace? Indeed. My people prospered after King Xerxes was murdered. All except for me. A man tried to kill me with poison, which is how I lost my sight. I fled and arrived here. I find it hard to believe anyone would want you dead. You're very kind. Tell me another tale, then I'll tell you more of my past. You'll be glad to know I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel your presence. Would you describe her to me? Oh. It's even better than you can imagine. Made of pure gold. Chip one toe of her, and you'd have enough drag me to eat for the rest of your life. Gold? No, it can be. I was always told she was bronze, and stood guard over the city of Athens, mourning the past and protecting the future. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers, unlike any Persia had known. He was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings hired to kill a simple blind man. Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. I've traveled to the Acrocorinth. From there, I could see all of Corinthia. Ah, I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. The Atera keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go. Worship, of course. Now that's out of the way, you owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too? He was. By my brother. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. I trust you. So I will tell you. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible. That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Now, I hide here, exiled, living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more, but first... Yes, yes, a tale for a tale. I returned to Mount Aegatos. Returned? Tell me, did you meet the mountain god? who devours Spartan children. The mountain is just a mountain like any other. What makes Taigetos a place of suffering is the people there. That is true of all the world's worst places. When I was a child, I could tell from the moment I met you that you carried the burden of suffering. Let it stay in the past. Now you tell me, King. 
Artaxerxes? How can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. <laughs> well, that's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see, I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general? I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. All the petty politics. He came to Persia to me, looking for refuge. I was king, but only a boy. He spent his days learning Persian and telling me stories of his home. Places like the Acrocorinth, Mount Daegetos. The places you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved Themistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one last tale, and I'll tell you why he hid his treasure. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. Nothing would make me happier. It's a majestic statue, built from the blades of fallen soldiers. It's so high above Stymphalos and the golden fields below. Up there, I could forget there was a war. So it is as it was told to me. The bird commemorates Heraclius' fight against chaos, built on a place of calm. Hopefully, one draws out the best in the other. So, I've been to the five places the Mistocles told you about in his tales. For that, my soul will be eternally grateful. As for my tale, Themistocles died peacefully in Persia, as one of us. I promise him I'd see the places he told me about. His stories will live on in me. And now you. And what of your story? I let the people believe Darius succeeded in killing me, so I could escape. Artaxerxes, there's something else you should know. Yes? My grandfather was Leonidas of Sparta. That means... Your father, King Xerxes, killed my grandfather. Then you are bound by blood to avenge him. Artaxerxes, false king! This Mistyos led me right to you! Time to finish what I started! Alexios, please! Stand behind me. Artaxerxes, are you hurt? Despite being bound by honor to avenge Leonidas, you saved me. Thank you. I had no choice. That man wanted you dead. Must have been another one of your executioners. It was. If he doesn't return to Persia, my brother will send another. Then another. It's time this old man accepts his fate. You're a brave man, Artaxerxes. A trait I learned from Themistocles. Now, as for you, I owe you payment. Well, I did save your life, and I went on an adventure for you, your highness. You did? Though much of what you said is not how I remember Themistocles telling it. Things change? Ah, we approve of that, aren't we? Now, for Themistocles' treasure, Find the tomb in Salamis, where he made his triumphant stand against my father's navy. That's where your reward awaits. Themistocles' treasure is in Salamis. I wonder what it could be.
should be extra careful in this area. Where we go? The tomb that Arthur Xerxes mentioned, it's real. <laughs> 